All right, let's continue. We're still reviewing concept of gradients from before we had to convert to online. Let's suppose we had something that was with three variables but wasn't written in function form, such as this equation here, 2x squared plus e to the y power plus 5xy plus the natural log of the quantity z plus 2, and that all equals 9. We remember that if we were to write this with a function notation this way, we could then look at our three-dimensional surface. That's right. So this is a three-dimensional surface. But now we can view this in function notation, and this function has three variables. Okay? So, calculating the gradient doesn't necessarily mean we understand the concept, but let's do that calculation. Remember, we don't always write the of x, y, z. Sometimes we get a little bit, we'll call it efficient. But we're going to take the three partial derivatives. The x partial derivative will start off with a 4x and then 0. And then what would be the x partial derivative? That's right, it would be 5y plus another term that's 0. And then the y partial derivative would be 0 plus e to the y plus, that's right, 5x would be that y partial derivative plus another term of 0. Finally, the z partial derivative would be 0, 0, 0, and then 1 over the quantity z plus 2. All right, and remember I'm using the component form for the vector, but you're welcome to use the ijk notation. So now the question is, what exactly does this mean? What's it all about? So let's suppose I rewound the clock here and I went back to our 3D surface and I gave you coordinates of a point that happens to fit this graph. Those coordinates would be negative 2 comma 0 comma negative 1. If you let x be negative 2, this becomes 8 e to the 0 is 1, 8 and 1 is 9, 5 times, well, 0 is going to be 0, and then negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1, but the natural log of positive 1 is 0, you end up with 9 equals 9. So here is a point that's on that three-dimensional surface. So the calculation, the gradient of this three variable now written in function notation if x is negative 2 and y is 0 and z is negative 1 we would just do substitution here negative 8 plus 0 is negative 8 e to the 0 is 1 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 1 minus 10 is negative 9 if z is negative 1, you get 1 over 1, which is 1. So this right here, this vector is normal to the three-dimensional surface. Now, What's it used for? Stay tuned to the next episode.